Hey guys, I got my new toy here. Uh, usually I don't do tech review videos, but I've been so impressed with this DJI Mini 2 that I thought I'd share some of the footage that I got with you and uh, use this review as an excuse to show you guys what it's all about. First off, this thing is so easy to fly. The controls are smooth, responsive, and snappy. I picked it up shockingly quick part of which I can feel I can actually attribute to years of experience on the Xbox. If you can fly a Banshee and Halo, you can fly this drone. But the main feature that makes this aircraft so versatile and so easy to get high quality shots is the mode switch on the remote control. You can change between cinematic, normal, and sport modes at the flick of a switch anytime during flight. These flight modes transform the flight characteristic from a gradual and smooth cinematic rig to a fast, nimble, twitchy tweaker in the sky. Speaking of fast, this thing is very quick to deploy. For me and my lifestyle, this is by far the most important trait of a camera for adventure shooting, and the reason why I haven't been compelled to move away from point and shoot cameras to something more full size and professional. When it comes to run and gun, quick shots on the go, on the go convenience is key because otherwise you'll tend to miss out on a lot of shots due to not wanting to mess around with getting the big old camera out. The same goes for a drone, and the Mini 2 consolidates a very complex set of components in an incredibly easy to use, compact package that can still get professional results. Another side benefit of a tiny drone is the relatively small battery size. The Mini 2 has a battery that's roughly the same capacity of a smartphone, so it will charge just as fast and conveniently from a car, motorcycle, or power pack without needing a 120 volt source like the bricks that the larger drones require. At the end of the day, it's as they say, the best camera is the one you have on you, and I'm finding myself bringing my little birdie with me everywhere. This is the second drone I've owned, the first being the Autel Evo Pro 2, which is comparable to a DJI Mavic Pro, both of which cost four times as much as the Mini 2 and weigh even more so. Honestly, I haven't really found myself missing anything that the larger drones have to offer. The obstacle avoidance sensors were something I thought would be crucial, but seeing as I ended up crashing it into a tree at dusk anyways, maybe not so much. Pro tip? Always set your return to home height. That was an expensive mistake. And while the big one inch sensor on the larger drone's camera definitely looked great on the spec sheet, the little camera on the Mini 2 still punches way above its weight class. The image quality is stellar, both in stills and in videos. Colors are vivid and accurate down to some considerably low light conditions. The times when it really shows its miniature sensor size in its, is in its dynamic range. Sunset shots will pretty much render the landscape as a darkened silhouette. But really, I'm fine with that because the sky always turns out amazing. As far as flight performance compared to the big drone, I find that what, it, what is sacrificed in overall top speed is gained in acceleration and flickability. This thing is quick and maneuverable. It truly showcases its flyweight in sport mode and really bridges the gap into FPV territory. I haven't flown in really high winds yet, but I'm guessing that would be somewhere I might struggle. Just so you know, this video was not sponsored. I bought the drone from Costco for $440 back in early August 2021, and all these shots were filmed within two very busy and exciting weeks after that. Also, none of the clips I've shown so far have been color graded. It's all straight from the camera at 4K, 30 frames per second. The photos were touched up in Lightroom, however. I don't have much else to say other than this is probably the best and definitely most fun camera I've owned. So here's another highlight reel.
So that's the DJI Mini. Come back. Come back. So that's the DJI Mini 2, my new favorite tiny camera. A great addition to the adventure arsenal. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.